According to Forbes, this season Cristiano Ronaldo is set to earn a whopping $125 million. That's before taxes from a combination of his salary and brand sponsorships. And sure, that's a lot of money, but with skills like this and close to half a billion social media followers, there's no doubting that he's a marketing dream come true. And at 36 years old, as Ronaldo approaches the end of his career, aside from his hundreds of goals and 32 major trophies, he'll also be walking away from the sport a billion dollars richer than when he first started. So how does he spend his money? Well, much of it has gone towards his insane car collection. In fact, $12 million of his money went into one car alone, his Bugatti Cento Dieci. This is a limited edition version of the Bugatti Chiron, and when I say limited, I mean it. There's only 10 of them in the world. With 1,600 horsepower, it's even more powerful than the already formidable Chiron, and it can reach reach 125 miles an hour in just 6.1 seconds. But just for good measure, he's got a Chiron too, plus a third Bugatti, the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse. These are worth $3.1 million and $2.4 million respectively. But just because his Bugattis are his most expensive cars, it doesn't automatically make them his favorites. Apparently, his $360,000 Rolls-Royce Cullinan is the car that he enjoys driving the most. And as his pretty standard for any footballer, Ronaldo also has a Ferrari or two. In fact, his most recent Ferrari purchase came while still playing for Juventus. It was reported that Ronaldo took a trip to the Ferrari factory to purchase the $1.95 million Ferrari Monza SP1. Now that purchase caused a bit of a stir since it was fresh on the heels of a big loss to rivals AC Milan. And to make matters worse, he skipped training to buy the car. But I guess the club were okay with it considering the club's president, Andre Agnelli, was there with him. I guess that's one of the perks you can expect when you're one of the best footballers in the world. All told, the cars in Ronaldo's garage are worth a whopping $24 million, but that's nothing compared to his house. You see, the seven-story, $9.7 million home that Ronaldo owns in his hometown of Madeira was actually an abandoned warehouse, which he bought back in 2015. This palace, which overlooks the Atlantic Atlantic Ocean has a five car garage, a spa, a rooftop swimming pool, and even its own football pitch. He also owns real estate in Marbella, Spain. In fact, his Marbella home sits right down the street from the home of USC superstar Conor McGregor. At just $1.8 million, this villa seems well worth the money. But as we all know, whenever Cristiano Ronaldo's name comes up, there's another name that's not too far behind, Lionel Messi. Now, while Messi was previously the highest earning footballer in the world, since his transfer to Paris Saint-Germain, his earnings have now dropped below Ronaldo's, but not too far behind. This year, he's estimated to be earning around $110 million. I know, poor guy, right? So how does Messi spend his millions? Well, he's got his own spectacular car collection. And if you thought Ronaldo's $12 million Bugatti was over the top, just wait until you hear the price on Messi's Ferrari 335 Escaetti spider. Wait for it. 36 million dollars. Crazy, right? Well, with only four of these ever made, it's quite a special ride. His next most expensive ride is probably his $2 million Pigani Zonda. This blazing fast car has a top speed of 217 miles an hour and can go from 0 to 60 in just 2.7 seconds. As someone who was one of the fastest players in the world, it's only fitting that his cars have serious speed too. Now, by most reports, Messi is quite a laid back, chilled out kind of guy and he definitely enjoys his time at home. While he now lives in Paris, his spiritual home is undoubtedly Barcelona. His Barcelona neighborhood, Castel de Fels, is known for its luxury real estate, and many other footballers, including former teammate Luis Suarez, own homes in the neighborhood. Messi's house cost him $7 million and has its own gym, football pitch, and swimming pool. Plus, it's got amazing views of the sea. And another cool perk is it's a designated no-fly zone 
zone, meaning no aircraft or helicopters can fly overhead. So Messi can truly relax with his family. As for his Paris home, well, he's currently renting in Nuri sur Seine, which is a very luxurious part of Paris, where his rent costs him $22,000 a month. Though we don't know exactly what the house looks like, we do know that it has an indoor swimming pool, which apparently was a must have for the family. And on top of the house in Barcelona and Paris, Messi also has a home in Miami. Located on the 47th floor of the Porsche Design Tower, this luxury home has stunning views of the water and comes with all sorts of luxury services including personal assistance, six swimming pools, a kitchen with its own chef and oh yeah, a robotic lift that takes your car up to a sky garage. The condo was purchased in 2019 for about $4.5 million. Interestingly, a second apartment that he also owned in Miami was sold just months after he purchased it. This one was in the Regalia Tower and back in 2020 he spent $7.3 million to buy it only to sell it a few months later. Still, MLS fans are still crossing their fingers that this legend may one day still play for David Beckham's Inter Miami. Moving on, next on our list is Messi's former and current teammate Neymar. How does the talented Brazilian spend his $95 million in earnings? Let's start with the cars again. Neymar's favourite is apparently his Lamborghini Veneno, with a top speed of 220 miles per hour and able to reach 62 miles an hour in just 2.9 seconds, this car seems well worth the $420,000 that he spent on it. Not to mention the fact that only five Venenos were ever built. But that's just one of Neymar's 13 cars. Another car that stands out in his collection is the Lycan Hypersport, a $3.4 million beast of a machine that even edges out the Veneno in a sprint, being able to reach 62 miles an hour in just 2.8 seconds. Now, while Neymar's car collection might not quite match the $24 million that Ronaldo spent on his, he does have some other pretty sweet options when it comes to getting around. Take for example, his private jet. This is an Embraer Legacy 450, worth about $15 million. With this jet, you can rest assured that Neymar always arrives at his destination in style. With an elegant interior that's big enough to fit his entourage, plus a maximum cruising velocity of 462 miles an hour, this Brazilian made aircraft is packed with speed perfect for the Brazilian riding inside it. But what do you do when you don't feel like taking a private jet? <laughs> well, you can always take your private helicopter, and all the better if it's Batman themed. Apparently, Neymar is a big fan of superheroes, none more so than the Dark Knight. This $15 million all black Airbus H145 is one way to avoid traffic, albeit an expensive way. But Neymar doesn't seem to mind and he seems to also enjoy sharing it with his friends. Next on our list, we've got 22 year old French sensation Kylian Mbappe. Now, while still towards the beginning of his career, he can already claim the honor of being the fourth highest paid footballer in the world. And as one of the most clinical strikers, it's easy to see why he's been able to rack up $43 million of earnings this year alone. So what does Mbappe spend his giant salary on? As expected, he also has a great car collection that most people could never even dream of having. But one thing makes his collection slightly different. He doesn't yet have a license, meaning he can't yet drive them. As Mbappe explains, quote, Licenses are often synonymous with autonomy, but I had my autonomy so early that I've had drivers at my disposal. It was never a priority. So Mbappe has chauffeurs to drive him to training and wherever else he wants to go. Some of the cars he owns and that he's driven in include a Volkswagen Touran, a Mercedes-Benz V-Class and a Volkswagen Transporter T6. One thing they all have in common? Yep, they're all vans. But don't worry, while details are a little vague, it's also believed that Mbappe has a Ferrari worth nearly half a million dollars just sitting idle in his garage. So while we don't quite know what model it is, by all accounts, Mbappe isn't too flashy with his money. His biggest expense was probably the $9.5 million mansion that he bought for him and his family to live in. That's right, for now, the family-oriented 22-year-old is happy to live with his parents and his siblings while he continues to break records on the football pitch. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that like button and please consider subscribing for lots more videos. You might also want to check out some of the other videos that are on screen now. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you on the
the next video.